Okay, in this video, what we're going to be doing is have a quick overview of the Elementor page builder, just to give you a brief understanding of what we can do with that before we go in and start making changes to pages. Okay, so in the website, as I said, on the left hand side here is your control menu. And the two places where we use Elementor is one in posts and one in pages. So I'm going to take you into pages. And as you can see, you've already got all your pages here. So we've got our home page. So if we click on Edit with Elementor, and this is what we'll see. Okay, down here are all the widgets and little bits and pieces that you can use within this website. So to give you an idea, we'll scroll down and get hold of it. Okay, so you have your basic elements, which we have here. You have pro elements, which we don't have access to because we don't have the pro features enabled. General elements, we have access to all of these. We here we have these are locked, these are site elements, they are locked to us. WooCommerce are locked to us because this isn't a WooCommerce site, and these are additional WooCommerce settings. Header and footer blocks, we can use these, these are for working down here in this area. General WordPress pages, calendar, some other bits and pieces we can use from this as well. Okay, but within the free one, we've got the basic, close pro by clicking the little arrow, and we've got general, which generally is absolutely plenty to get on and do most things within the website. Okay, so every page is broken up in the same way. Okay, what you'll have is your menu area. This is what we set up in the primary header earlier in a couple of videos gone and then pages are broke down into columns rows and blocks okay so as you can see here blue denotes a column so this full size here is a column okay so this contest consists of one column within here now within a column we have different rows Okay, so this is one row going all the way across, but in this space, it's been broke down into two columns. And then within the row, you have these, which are your blocks. Okay, so, and each one, if you click into it, it's a heading block, image box block, button, here, yeah images, image box, image box again, heading, see, and this is how they're all broken up. Now, I'm not going to cover creating new pages, I'm going to do that in a later training, but just to give you a quick idea, if you click on the plus, you can add a new column into the page. So we click on that, you can have templates. This is a pro version, you don't have this. No, you click on it, but you won't be able to access anything. These are templates you can create for yourself. And here is just a plus to add a new section. And we can choose, do we want one, two, three, how we want our section broken down. So we're going to go, right, okay. We're going to go for a three. So now... This is a row and it's got two columns within this row. Now if we want to add something into it, click there. We want to put a heading in, just lift it across. We want to put text in. Text. 
you want to add a image. Got an image, just click on it. And we can either use an image that we already have uploaded, or we can go upload files, select files, and it will take us to somewhere. This is my downloads file. I'm just going to try and find an image that we can use from a different website. Just go in. Sat media. And there's our image. Okay, we can change the size of it. Where we want it to go. If we want it to And then once we're hit happy with our little amendments, we can click update. Now if I go and load up the proper page, make up artist gates head. One, you can see our site icon that we did in the last video. And then as we scroll down, this is my new heading, additional text. Photograph, photograph. If we wanted to move the photograph off to one side, if we don't like it, then we can literally pick up, move it across there, or you might decide, right, okay, I'll actually put a video in here, and you can either grab a link from YouTube, Vimeo, or you can self host it on the actual website itself. Okay, and you can put overlays and different images over the top when you're happy with your amendments update it and you now have a video on your website where this one is we don't we want it dropped down so we're actually going to make an amendment in this area the column because we want to change the vertical align of the block that is inside of it. And it's now dropped it down a bit more central. Okay, so that's a quick intro into Elementor. As I said, it's more you want to put other sections in, or split a section down more. Click on there. We can change that if we want to change stylings and colours of the content. Just click on Style. And we can change the style size and rotate it change the style the fonts of all the the elements here this is content so you see the title and the description you can go in and change all of that okay if you're not happy with stuff just hover over right click you can delete an area or if it's a column go on the blue click it delete it there if you look at this one, this has got an image on the background. To change a background image, you'll click on the edit section, cross into style, and then you can change out this image. And we've changed it there. Always check to see what your changes look like. If we think, right, that's a bit too dark, it's because it's got something called a background overlay over it. Click on that. And we can lighten it or delete it completely. There you go. 
So that is a very brief introduction to Elementor. Basically, what I'll do later on, I'll do a video where I'll go through and explain what each and every one of these are, just so you've got it all there and how they're actually used. Okay, but you will get more training on that as we go through the pages and work on the individual pages.